This looks like some great stuff. I might actually go through this on my own time. Chapter 5, look at that. Chapter 5, looking good. Folks, we're playing chess today. I'm actually going to hop right into the first game here. And actually, the way this chess app works, you start the game by playing rock, paper, scissors to determine who goes first. So if I win rock, paper, scissors, I'm choosing paper. They chose scissors. I lost, so I'm black. And this is called chess minis. And I'll talk more about it in just a moment, but let's just hop right into the first game here. So we can just play chess. I'm excited to play chess again. I haven't played chess in a while, so. And this this player is playing an opening. I'm not sure if it's a good opening, but they're playing fast. We're playing 15 minute games here, so I don't have to play that fast. I think I'll defend the pawn and I'm going to switch to 2D mode because um, this is how I prefer to look at the game. We're playing some, some sort of, I don't know, I've never played this opening before. They didn't play E4 or D4, so we're just going to play solid, get both the knights out, get the bishops out. This app is called Chess Minis, and they're the sponsor of today's stream and the, the video that I'm going to make. Make sure to check them out. Link it to the uh, app is in the description. It's a free game, free app. It's new. You can play chess, do free puzzles, rapid blitz, play against your friends. There's leaderboards, but I'll talk more about Chess Minis as we go on here. Let's just play the game, though, for now. Get the bishops out and then castle. I think we're going to get the dark squared bishop out and then castle next. And we're just playing solid, going up the development, taking the center. Queen out here to pin the knight, my king, but the knight's defended right now. Are they going to push that pawn? Should I play h6 just to just so that they can't push that pawn? It feels like they're about to push that pawn. Let's just do it. We'll move the dark square bishop out next and then castle. Links are in the description. There's also QR codes you can scan if you want. Um, but check it out. Maybe you guys can get a game in against me today. I'll be playing um, in a little bit. We'll play some Blitz games. So there'll be even more chances to play against me. So download the game. Check it out. Maybe we'll get to play against each other. It's a, it's actually a lot of fun. Like This is actually a good app. It's actually a lot of fun. Well made. There's a lot of cool features that you don't see elsewhere. And we'll talk more about those in a little bit. On um, the knight. I don't know what the knight coming forward there does. Are they trying to go somewhere with that? Because I don't see any good squares for that knight to go next. Maybe they're going to move a pawn up or something i don't know uh, let's get the bishop out to either e7 or d6 and i'm thinking e7 i don't know i don't know why that's just usually where i go it's also lined up with that knight for future in case that matters and then we'll castle next tacos in a tortilla or taco shell um i think i prefer tortillas but i don't know not i mean i like both i don't really know if i have a preference maybe it depends on the taco Currently downloading. Hey, glad to hear it, Austin. Who else is downloading? Let me know if you download the app. Maybe we can form a... There's like clubs. I, what are they called? Squads? Maybe we can form a squad or you can form one with your friends. Um, So I think maybe we're going to castle or just move that... Let's just get the knight out of here because that knight doesn't belong there. So he'll just... Okay, that's a not a good sacrifice, I don't think. Queen is now in line with my king. But the pawn here is well defended. I can't move it up right now, but it's well defended by my knight and my queen. And I can get a rook in there too. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to go queen here, and then I'm going to put a rook behind my queen. And then we're going to actually double up on that. We're actually probably going to put both rooks in the middle. Like rook here, and then rook. What is that? A king move? Um. Alright, let's bring the rooks in, I guess. And then we'll actually bring... Hmm... I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I should move this rook to here because it's an open file and then move my king to G. I think I might want the rook up. No. Let's just go in the middle. We'll just push down the middle with the pawns or whatever. And then the king's going to tuck away. And I will go, uh, I guess I'll go here since it's in line with the queen, you know, then I can push the pawn forward later. I, I think we push the pawn forward now. No, what do we, what does that come with? Nothing. Maybe we'll just keep developing, move the rook into the middle. We have a solid development lead right now. They're not, I don't know, they just moved their king around for a little bit. Haven't gotten their bishops out or their rooks. So we're definitely winning even though the material's still even. We're going to be winning in a little bit. There will be winning to happen later. I will probably start opening up the middle. Maybe push E or D. I don't know which one is better to push. Maybe, should I move my king back? I feel like I don't need to. It's not really in danger, but okay, yeah, we're just going to do this. Because then the, the pawn on B will also be vulnerable later too. Or next, it's double attacked. Okay, the queen moved out of the way of the bishop, and now I'm probably going to take this pawn, I believe. The queen was the only defender of the pawn, so now it's a free pawn. How are we doing on time? 8 minutes to 14 minutes. I'm talking a lot, though. I have to start moving. I don't, I don't think we're playing with increment here. Okay, they push the pawn. We're going to take the pawn. Okay, instead of taking back, they move their bishop in front of the pawn. So I'm just going to take the bishop here. And their rook's under attack, uh, and their queen's under attack. Oh, I should have actually probably taken the queen. Um, I don't... It's been a while. 
but okay now they're falling apart positions crumbling so we'll just bishop out to the check king over and now i think this bishop should probably take the pawn here and then provide a check next not sure what their knight's doing i don't think it's doing anything i could take that rook actually or the knight all these pieces are free i guess we'll take the rook because that's the most valuable and then we'll just trade that off and then I'm going to swoop in for a checkmate here. Actually, we'll just move the pawn up to defend the other pawn. And then maybe rook to the A-file and then just push the pawn up twice to get another queen. Or, I mean, I feel like I could just push and they're not going to take my pawn. To be honest, like, what if I did this? Yeah. Okay. And we will promote to a queen. And is that checkmate? Yeah. Hey! First victory of the stream, folks. Let's do another one, and then I'll talk more about what this application is and show you guys more about it. But this is Chess Minis. It's a free chess application. Link's in the description. I'll be playing on it today. So hop on, check it out, play with me. Different chess skins. Like this, I think this uh, chess set that I have, you can pay for. And I'll be showing you guys more about those in a little bit, too. But yeah, the, the microtransactions in this game are really done really well. Oh, we actually have an interesting opening here. What is this? I'm just going to take the center. We're just going to take a solid center. Yeah, this is a 3D mode though. I got a cool chess set on right now. Um, but I'm going to switch to the 2D mode. I prefer the 2D. What do you guys prefer? 2D or 3D? We'll take that pawn, I think. Will we? Yeah, let's just take it. What are we playing now? We're playing 10 minutes now? We played 15 minutes before. You have to know this. You guys like my chess rap? Oh, this is a free pawn, isn't it? So is that two free pawns? That's a good start. Oh, actually, I'm about to lose a pawn, aren't I? No, I'm not, actually. Oh, well, they didn't take... I thought they, if they traded queens, that would have been cool. Um, let's just get the knight out now to defend the pawn on e5. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's just develop the bishop for no reason. No reason at all. Oh, shucks. Maybe they'll trade knights. Oh my gosh, it's gonna happen, folks. We're gonna take the knight here. They'll no longer defend f7. Oh, and they don't take back because they know they know what's coming. They know it's a checkmate. Actually, we're going to take this queen problem. We're going to take the bishop and then we're just going to do the trade here. Wait, I could take the pawn. I think we'll take the pawn first since we're... No, because then my knight's going to be hanging. But I mean, that probably won't matter, but we, we can't just let that happen. You know, we can't, we can't, we can't give up material. Okay, so we'll, we'll do the trades. We'll trade. Now. Okay, no, they should be taking back there. Because um, otherwise they're just losing a piece. But this is good so far. I like the um, position for me. I'm going to go back here so my knights defend each other. And then I'm going to castle. What is this? This is a new chess app called Chess Minis on Android and iPhone. It's free to play. It has blitz and rapid and free puzzles. It's really fun. Um, check it out in the app store. Link's in the description, guys. Chess Minis is what it's called, though. And we'll just finish developing here by moving the bishop out. And then getting the rooks to the middle. I'm sure you guys will like it if you check it out. Um, double the rooks up, bring the other rook into the game. How do we finish this off? Okay, yeah, okay, we're just gonna get the other rook up. Double up on the 7th on the, uh, rank, probably. And then just go for it. So they're attacking my rook, and I'm gonna go here. And then I'm going to move, slide my rook over, so that I can get the other rook up here too. I want both rooks up here. So we're going to go here, and then I'm going to move the other rook up, and we're going to go up now, and now we have both rooks attacking the king here. Okay, let's trade this bishop off, start getting rid of pieces, and what now? We need to checkmate, we need to block stuff off, um, oh yeah, we go here so that we have another attacker on the pawn. And then we're tripled up here, so that's good. They can't add any more defenders. Almost checkmate. And that's checkmate. Good game. Yeah. Yeah. Just speaking of puzzles, let's do some puzzles. Because one of the things I noticed first that I like the most about this app is the puzzles. So the, the normal chess is the same as, you know, it's just chess. But the puzzles here are a little different. And here you'll see immediately what I'm talking about. 
So they have a lot of these um, handcrafted puzzles where the board is not, you know, a real chessboard, but it's kind of unique. And it uh, does help solve puzzles, uh, especially for, I think, for beginner players. This is going to help you with puzzles more because it's more focused on specific patterns. And you can then expand this to bigger games, but it's easier to focus on the specific pattern. And I think this is the move here, right? Yes. And let's do a few, let's do a few puzzles so you guys get the idea here of what I'm talking about. And then checkmate in two here. And I think, is it this? No, yes. That's one. I feel like that's checkmate in one, but what is... Where's the- oh, the rook takes. Oh, the rook takes. And then my other rook. Okay, so bishop goes and then the rook comes up here. Okay. Boom. Boom. Uh, this is a promotion. And... I'm on puzzle 50 right now, so... They start out easy and they get harder. They're still pretty easy for me, but... We'll sp I'll speed through them. Let's see, checkmate in two. So, pawn promote, bishop blocks, and then the rook slides over. Boom, boom, boom. Checkmate. And I want to check out some of these rewards. Because I'm getting these diamonds and these coins. And I believe if we go over here... Okay, this looks like the shop. And I got some free stuff here, so let me collect the free stuff. What am I getting here? Coins. So let's see, what do we get here? If we spend coins, we get shards. Ooh. So these are some of the different skins. That's just like the king. That's what the king looks like. And the way the game is monetized is you can buy different skins for your pieces. So let's check some of those out. And gloves also. All right. Let's check some of these out. Let's get, let's open up some more and then we'll check out what I get. Choose my favorite. Skins look really cute. Yeah, I think they, they did a really good job here. I think they have some great artists. Gloves, gloves plus. Ooh, I like the skeleton. Maybe I'm gonna probably be rocking the skeleton. What is this, plus five? Is that towards like, un oh yeah, I think you unlock different. Okay, so you have different sets, different stages for each skin. So this is like the wooden chest skin and it has like the, the matte and the shiny and then the like the metal. And then here's like the final tier. It's like this um swirly green. So each one has their own. Oh, this one's sick. Oh my gosh, so this is just the base. This is square troopers. This one's, this one's sick. This is the base. This is level two, three, one, no, wait. There's four, three, two, and one. I think, is one the highest? I like three, three, or two, I guess. The second to last, this one looks sick. This should be the top tier. Wait, I can just buy it? Got it. Well, let me look at what I have right now. Okay, here's my skins. Yep, this is what I have so far. look at my white let's choose a white set first oh wow that's cool might go with that let's check out this i want to see what this one looks like okay okay oh cool so yeah start outside with the grass then goes to these pink flowers and then here's my hands oh i wanted to go with the skeleton bones the skeleton bones oh wow okay so these are the upgrades for the skeleton bones that's sick we'll start out with the boss bones wait Oh, I think I have to unlock it still. How do you do that? You have to like play? I think you have to play it up. So this is the current one that I'm using. The Knuckle Knight. But I think I want to rank up the skeleton hand. But I think I have to spend some time unlocking it. Let's choose a black skin. Oh my gosh. This one, what is this one's crazy. This, let's check the uh, academy out guys. This is the academy. Tempo, moving the same piece twice, understanding your opponent, pawn structures. Or I want to do pawn structures. That's I actually need this. I actually probably need this lesson. Today we're going to learn about the difference between isolated pawns and connected pawns. As you can see, all of Black's pawns are isolated, whereas our pawns are connected. This means that our pawns are harder for Black to attack, as they all protect each other. Always try to keep your pawns connected. That's a pawn chain. In this position, it is difficult for Black to attack our pawns with his king as the pawns protect one another. To make any progress, Black has to attack our base pawn, which is difficult for them to reach. In contrast, if we attack Black's isolated pawns, they're helpless. Once the king reaches them, Black's pawns are weak and easy to capture. Nice. Good game. Quick and easy lessons there. 
so it's introducing fundamental concepts and that's just the first one that's just the very start we just sped through it chapter two we have easy checkmates pin one fork one materializing opening basics the roy lopez morphe defense we're learning openings guys open files middle game basics french defense pawn end games wow i'm surprised at how far this is going this looks like some great stuff i might actually go through this on my own time medium checkmates outposts one discovered attacks windmill attack chapter five look at that chapter five looking good king opposition one pawn end games two opening traps and that's i'm sure there's more to come but that's just where we're at right now chapter six so that's the this is called the academy it's chess minis um way to teach you how to play chess and you know improve starts from the very basics and works its way up let's play blitz blitz league i'm gonna be playing blitz so if you want to get a game against me queue up for some blitz here and i'm choosing scissors probably rock paper scissors to determine who goes first i lost what and they played okay i'm just gonna mirror them Okay, I'm not going to mirror that. We're going to go for the middle now. I thought they were going to play pawn moves. Okay, they're going to Fincardo that quickly. Oh, switch to 2D. Yep. We're going to go straight into it. What are we doing here? What is this opening? This is not my opening. Let's do this. What? Why? Why are we, why are we doing this? Okay. And that's a free pawn, right? Oh, we're going quick. It's a blitz game, though. I'm already down a minute. I gotta actually move at their pace. I gotta... Yeah, we gotta, we gotta speed things up a little bit. Okay, we're winning. That's a piece. Raid it off. Oh, I should have traded the knight, right? I should have kept the bishop there. Am I trapped? No. Let's castle next. Castle queenside. Yup, and trade rooks if they go to the middle. Yup. Yup, yup. Okay. Put him with a check. It's the time, 3.22 to 4.15, down a minute here. But, up the whole, the whole game here, up the whole game. We're gonna go for that pawn on F. I'm gonna get forked right now and probably, okay, we can move out of it though. Am I throwing? No, I'm not. Very interesting. But now I'm like forked. But wait, that's just like a free night for him, right? No. Do this. Then we trade rooks. Yep. Nice. Good tactic. And then we'll just get the knight out. Run the knight home. We'll get the king to the side of the board here. We're going to run these pawns down. Alright. Now we'll bring the king out. And we're going to run the f pawn down the board here. We'll do like this actually. Take there, and this pawn is gone. Not be stopped. And we'll give him the knight. Promote to a queen. Take that with the queen. And then we'll just go for the uh, for the other queen too. Two queens and a checkmate. Two minutes left. And we'll pre-move. Oh shoot, my queen. 
I actually wasn't paying attention there. You played white three times in a row? Yeah, I like that you can... That you can do that. That you have some sort of control over what side you get. It's pretty cool that they have rock, paper, scissors for choosing sides. I wonder... I wonder if it's actually possible for someone to... You know, win rock, paper, scissors more than they... More than 50-50. I feel like it would be. I feel like there's probably one that people choose more often. And then if you just choose the opposite, then you can win rock, paper, scissors most of the time. If people don't choose an option, then it defaults to... Good game. Oh, or next move is a good game, I guess. Um, good game. Yeah! Check out Chess Minis, folks. Link in the description. Free. Go download it. Do some puzzles. Play some games. I'll be playing. Maybe we'll get some games. Look out for Bobby. Thanks for watching the Bobby Bow Show, everybody. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day.